Hello everybody, it's Herb from World of Walt coming to you live from Disney's Animal Kingdom at the Walt Disney World Resort, Walt Disney World Resort in Orlando, Florida. It is a nice Saturday morning. Today, I don't have a fast pass. We're just going to go for a little stroll, see what's happening here at Disney's Animal Kingdom. I originally had planned to go to a different park, but actually last night I was at the Magic Kingdom very late for the opening night of Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. Plenty of videos posted to YouTube, more articles coming this week to the worldofwalt.com site. So, had a short evening, decided not to make a trek uh, to a park that takes a little bit longer to get to, and thought, hey, let's just go check out what's happening in the Animal Kingdom. Haven't been here in a little while. Lucy, Melanie, good morning to you. Hi, Carrie. Thanks for joining me here in Animal Kingdom. It's a nice morning here. It's probably 82 degrees when I checked the weather this morning. Uh, it's, it's warm, but uh, actually pretty pleasant for an August uh, Central Florida day. So, pretty good. Shelby says, thanks for the broadcast. Thank you, Shelby. Appreciate your being here. Carol Ann says... Uh, couldn't keep her eyes open. Uh, missed, but are going to check out the videos. Thank you for that. Um, they're posted both to Facebook and to YouTube. So uh, last night got a lot of good videos, actually. Got the new fireworks spectacular show that's part of Mickey's Not-So-Scary Halloween Party. It's called Not-So-Scary Spectacular, uh, the replacement for Hollow Wishes. Actually, it's a really good show. Lots of fireworks, um, some very interesting castle projections. So I think you'll like it. I also had a chance to do a broadcast to the Boo to You Parade, which is a, a perennial favorite, catchy tune, uh, some fun floats, including some which I think are new this year. I didn't check that, but uh, some floats with the Incredibles, floats with Toy Story. So I think uh, I think you'll enjoy that video as well. Marta said, very wet today in Tampa Bay. Mary Ellen said, loved uh, last night party videos. Thank you for watching those. I appreciate it. It was fun to bring the first Mickey's Not-So-Scary Halloween Party to you, courtesy of the nice folks at Disney Media Relations. Very thankful that I get to do things like that. Gary says, loves the shirts. Thank you, Gary. I appreciate that. Uh, thanks to everyone who has purchased a shirt over at theworldofwaltstore.com. And thanks to everyone here for generating that idea and uh, keeping it alive, which encouraged me to make it happen. So thank you. Jeff, good morning. Says, always a great way to start the weekend. Thank you, Jeff. It's nice of you to say. Donna says, great seeing the parade and the fireworks. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thanks for checking them out. I had a really good time uh, sharing it with everybody. Also, I didn't do a live broadcast, but as part of the uh, event last night, I had a chance to see Cruella's Halloween Hideaway, which is a, an additional event inside Mickey's Not-So-Scary Halloween Party. Um, where Tony's Town Square is made available to you for a good chunk of the night. You can kind of come and go as you like, and there are there's food, uh, plenty of meatballs, which are actually very good desserts. Um, all the sodas and uh, wine, beer you care to enjoy. So um, a fun, fun add-on if you have the means. Kelly, good morning to you from Canada. <laughs> Karen said, sharing is caring. Thank you for that. Melissa said, received the t-shirt, loved it, thank you for that. Leanne said, great way to start Saturday, thank you. Gina says, loves the Saturday Disney videos, appreciate your being here. Trudy, good morning to you, it's afternoon in the UK. Thank you for joining me, Trudy. I think it's amazing that people from all over the world can uh, join in on this conversation, be a part of it. That's uh, really, it's a joy for me to share it, so thank you. Jessica, good morning to you in New Hampshire. Says, loves watching every weekend. Thank you for that. Rod says, tree life, great to see. It is, it's a beautiful icon. Today, actually, do not have a fast pass. Decided just to wing it a little bit. Come to the Animal Kingdom where it doesn't take me quite as long to, to come and go. So we're just gonna wander. Ooh, and I see Kevin up here. Near the entrance of Dino Land USA. Kevin is a blast, so we're going to take a second and see what's going on with him. He's a lot of fun. Jackie, 10 more, oh, sorry, excuse me, 19 more days to go. Heather from York, Pennsylvania. I've been to York before. Nick, good morning to the, from the UK. Good to see you. Roseanne says, thanks for making Saturdays magical. Yvonne says, loves the pin of the month club. Thank you, Yvonne. 
Okay, you get the prompt for the, the plug. If you want a little bit of Disney fun, go check out pinofthemonthclub.com. Uh-oh, looks like Kevin may be going backstage to take a break. There she goes. <laughs> Kevin gives a little wave, that's funny. Kim, good morning to you in Winnipeg. Oh, I can see Kevin's head sticking up above the gate. Kevin is very tall. <laughs> that was fun. Leanne says, loves the strolls. Thank you, Leanne. Rod says, loves the shopping in Animal Kingdom. That's a really good point. Uh, the Animal Kingdom's entrance area, kind of the equivalent of Main Street USA, the two shops on the left and the right, have a great set of merchandise. Uh, a lot of unique things here. Jay Jean from Toronto, hello to you. Troy says, Animal Kingdom has lots of links to the SEA, the Society of Explorers and Adventurers. Interesting backstory at uh, Disney, actually spanning Disney parks around the globe um, with a story that connects a lot of the characters and the attractions. Yeah, really, really fascinating. If you are a fan of Disney backstory, uh, do a search for Society of Explorers and Adventurers. In fact, I wrote an article over at worldofwalt.com talking about the different characters and the connections across the parks. Really cool. Amy, good morning to you from Toledo, Ohio. Danita, good morning. Jenny, thank you. Have a magical day, you too. All right, we're going to stroll through Dino Land, USA where Donald's Dino Bash is still happening. But I had a chance to speak with some of the Imagineers as a part of a media event. They said Dino Land is becoming the, the center for character meet and greets at Disney's Animal Kingdom. Uh, after Camp Benny and Mickey closed to make way for Pandora, uh, it wasn't quite so clear. Where do you go to see characters? Now, it's much more clear. Come to Dino Land. Robin says, anyone know how much for an adult rain poncho? That's a very good question. I do not know the, the price. Maybe someone else here does. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you, it ain't cheap. <laughs> it's nice because it has a Disney design on it. Uh, you, you save a few bucks if you bring one from Walgreens. But you never know if, you, if it's going to rain, if you're going to need it. You may not want to carry it around. Mike says, will I be doing a show from Star Wars Galaxy's Edge when it opens? Thank you for asking that question. Uh, yes, I will. Actually, I'm very excited about it. So this coming Tuesday, the 20th, I think it is, Tuesday, I have a, a, a reservation for the annual Passholder preview. Very excited about that. And then a week from that, so what, about 15, yeah, 14 days from now, well, less than that, uh, the 20th, sorry, 27th or 28th is the media preview for the grand opening. So I'm going to get a double dip of Star Wars Galaxy's Edge this coming Tuesday, the 20th, as part of the pass holder previews. And then again on the Tuesday and Wednesday, 27th and 28th, as part of the media preview. Very much looking forward to it. Michael asks, how's the weather? You know, pretty good, actually. About 82. Um, warm, but not crazy muggy. Fun to see Donald here. I think Donald's excited. It's fun. Randy, good morning to you. Says I'm making Saturday great. Thank you for that. Ann says, can a regular ticket get in get you into Animal Kingdom at night? Uh, yes. So if you if you have a park hopper, you could move from one Disney park to another. Say you could go to the Magic Kingdom during the day and then decide to hop over to the Animal Kingdom in the evening. Missy said, am I going to show us both events, both the pass holder preview as well as the media event for the opening of Star Wars Galaxy's Edge? Yep, that is the plan. Primeval World, kind of sad, still closed down after a, an unexpected shutdown. Actually, I think that was the day I had a fast pass for it. Someone asked, sorry I missed the name, how much extra do they charge for the special event at Tony's Town Square during the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party? Uh, that event is called Cruella's Halloween Hideaway. I believe it's $99 per person. Uh, so definitely a splurge. But to be honest, it was really nice to have a place to 
hop in and out of on Main Street that had food and drinks and air conditioning. So uh, it was actually a lot of fun. Regina said, can't wait to go back. Jacob said, am I going to build a droid or a lightsaber? Oh, you tempted me. You know, when I went out to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge for the opening at Disneyland, I uh, clutched my wallet and held back. I did not build a lightsaber or a droid. We'll see if I can hold out here. Um, those are, are uh, a little bit pricey experiences, great experiences. I've heard nothing but great reviews about them, but uh, not quite sure if I'm going to spend the bucks or not. Colleen, good morning to you in Long Island. Disney Cruise Monday. Good for you. I like the way you roll and then go into the parks afterwards. I've had a couple opportunities to go on a Disney Cruise Line cruise and thoroughly enjoyed both of them. So if you have a chance, check it out. Joan said, Halloween is favorite time to visit Walt Disney World. It really is a fun time to visit. Uh, especially like the way Main Street USA is decked out with fall foliage. So fun time to visit. Tim Peterson's in the house. Hey, Tim. Tim, the official unofficial marketing manager of the Pin of the Month Club. Diana says, wasn't I going to go on Jungle Cruise? Yes, you are very perceptive. I actually had originally intended to go back to the Magic Kingdom, but it was very late when I got home last night after Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. So I'm running on fewer hours than normal of sleep. It takes me uh, quite a bit longer to get to the Magic Kingdom. So I decided to make a plan B. City said, when will Primeval World be open? It's an excellent question. I'm not sure, actually. You know, we haven't really heard any official word from Disney on what's going on. As I understand it, the attraction shut down unexpectedly. Um, the opening date has been pushed back a couple times. So I don't think we know. Hey, Bruce, good morning to you. Leanne's going to be here in six weeks. Good for you. Elizabeth's coming in November. Great time of the year to come. Brett says, what's better, the cruise line or the parks? You know, they are both tremendous experiences in their own rights. Uh, the parks, there's so much to do, so much to see. Um, great experience, terrific service. Uh, the cruise line, I would say, is probably a more relaxing experience, uh, probably a more upscale experience, maybe even a little bit uh, better service and quality, if that's even possible. So they're sort of different. I'd say going to parks is more of a go-go experience. Going on the cruise line is maybe, depending on how you plan it, a little bit more relaxing. Mary says loves Plan B, enjoys all the videos. Thank you for that. Chris says loves the videos. Thank you, Chris. Emmy is on the broadcast. Hi, Emmy. Good morning. Kathy says that's the great thing about Disney. There's always a plan B. That is true. Uh, I was very thankful, actually, to get a chance just to say, oh, you know, I'm going to save myself a little bit of transit time, and we're just going to wander around, because even just wandering around at Disney Park is a lot of fun. Gary said, nine months to go for 27th Disney World trip. That is great. Ren says, was there for spring break? Hope you had a good time. Linda says, any word on when Cirque will open at Disney Springs? No, that's a good question. So Cirque du Soleil, long running show on the west side of Disney Springs, shut down some time back. Uh, not sure when the new, new event is gonna open. So as best I understand, there are all intentions to open up a new show. Likely more Disney themed as opposed to a uh, unique Cirque design. Crystal, 98 days to go. All right, uh, standby for Expedition Everest. Looks like it's down. Looks like Expedition Everest is having a bad morning. Standby, not working. Fast pass, not working. That's kind of a bummer. Primeval World's not having a good day either. Yeah, Kelly asks, what's the wait for Everest? Uh, right now, it looks like uh, undetermined. Cassie said, Sadie said hello. If I got the names right, they went by kind of fast. Hello, Sadie. Thank you for being here. Dolores says, how often do I stay after the videos? Kind of depends. Um, I actually, because I, I'm blessed with living so close to the parks, will often just come over for a short period of time and be able to 
head back home. So come in the mornings on Saturday or pop over on an evening to purchase some pins or other things. So it's not as often that I hang around all day. And that's one of the, the tremendous benefits of living close and having a pass. Johnny says, is Animal Kingdom the only park currently has no construction going on? Uh, that's an interesting question. Maybe it depends on how you define it. So this morning when I came in, the entrance area where the trams load and drop off is under construction here at Animal Kingdom. Disney's been working to change the entrance experience at all the parks, actually. Um, there's a lot of construction going on at the Magic Kingdom entrance, um, also at the Epcot entrance. Um, the work at the Disney's Hollywood Studios entrance is mostly wrapped up. Parking lot has been reconfigured. Tram um, lot has been reconfigured. But I can't really think of any significant construction projects happening in Animal Kingdom outside of that one. Um, but there are, always, there are always some sort of maintenance going on here. Lori said, park doesn't look that busy today. Yeah, actually, it doesn't feel very busy. Still pretty early. Many people are spread out. Okay, I always forget the designation of Gorilla, Ape, and Monkey. One of the Disney cast members helped me with that one time. But I can see one of those critters up here. Let's see if he or she does some swinging around. Jan, hello to you. I saw the Ape, Gorilla, Monkey swinging in the back. Looks like he or she may be hiding out there. Lewis, hello to you in Alabama. Kelly says, what's the construction at the Magic Kingdom? Oh, here he comes, or she. You can see her climbing around. Uh, Magic Kingdom, yes, Tron is one of the big ones. Uh, Tron coaster going in next to Space Mountain. And the entrance area as well. That animal's got a strong grip and a great way to swing. That's fun to watch. Chris says, excited. Going to be there in two weeks. Scott, good morning to you. Thanks for being here. For a little stroll around Animal Kingdom, we're going to continue to head through Asia. We're going to head over to Africa. We're going to take the, the um, excuse me, the walkway over to Pandora. But we'll wrap it up. We'll just check what's going on there. Janice said, favorite restaurant in Disney. Ooh, that's a tough one. I'm actually not a very good one picking out a favorite of anything. You asked me a favorite of color, and I'm going to stumble over it. But favorite restaurant, wow. Um, I don't know. I'm going to have to think about that one, I guess. I had a great experience at Chico for Father's Day. Um, I've a couple times had the opportunity to go to Victorian Alberts, which was an amazing dining experience if you like fine dining. And I kind of like food, so and I really enjoy them all. Carla, hello to you. Says, hope I had a good time last night. I sure did. It was fun. It was a late night for me, but it was exciting to see the Booty You Parade first time for the season. The new fireworks show, all the not-so-scary spectacular, which replaces Hollow Wishes, which actually I think they did a great job on it. Plenty of fireworks, some very nicely executed cash hold projections. Denise, don't they have a walkway behind Lion King Theater? We didn't use it last time. Sorry, a little bit of the message cut off. So there is a walkway not too far from the theater, from the Festival of the Lion King, that goes towards Pandora. That's what we're going to try to do today. Hey, Kevin is back out again. We just saw Kevin go away, and here's Kevin again. All right, we're going to stop and take a quick look. Because actually, Kevin is a hoot. Sorry, Kevin. <laughs> I think Kevin is photobombing a shot right now. Chris says, was it very crowded at Mickey's Not So Scary? Um, it depended on where you were and when, actually. So if you were trying to check out the first Hocus Pocus show in front of the castle, that was very crowded. 
Um, the parade, actually, near the train station on Main Street USA, first showing of the parade, wasn't bad at all. And people cleared out more as the evening went on. <laughs> Karen is a Kevin fan. Kevin is a hoot. He's a lot of fun to watch, actually. Kelly said that just made her day the Kevin photobomb. It was a lot of fun, actually. Okay, I'm not really sure what Kevin is doing at this moment. Kevin is just being a little uh, cantankerous, I guess. Dolores from Niagara Falls. Valerie said, never bet. Kevin's been too long since she's been. Yeah, Kevin is one of those kind of just fun moments that you can stumble across here at Animal Kingdom. Like when you see Divine, uh, or you see some of the performances in uh, the Africa section. Just, just a fun moment. Kristen says, loves it when she sees Kevin. <laughs> She's funny. Kevin is funny. And Kevin is a she, so. Yep, it's great. Hello, how are we doing, y'all? Casey says, was Kevin looking in the window at the seated guests? That is possible, actually. I, I didn't really think about that, but Kevin may have been looking inside. Ryan's going to be here in November. Ryan, hope you have a great trip. Yeah, Dawn's asking the same thing. Maybe Kevin was looking into the restaurant. Patricia says, loves Kevin. <laughs> Shelly says, Kevin is a she. Yes, Kevin is a she. Everyone who paid close attention in the movie Up learned that as well. Cheryl says, hope Kevin is still there when you come in 2021. I hope so too. Um, Kevin is one of those nice little touches. It's just fun. Patrick said, glad to see us here five last night. Said, thanks for the tour. You're welcome. Uh, Patrick, it was a fun night. I always enjoy uh, the opportunities I get to check out the special events here. Uh, there are actually two things that I was able to do yesterday. Um, one is to get a preview of the Epcot Food and Wine Festival that was taking place over at the World Showplace, which is a, an event center sort of tucked in behind the UK and Canada, or sorry, the UK and France. Eh. Well, next to the UK. And then Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. So it was a lot of fun. I uh, missed the name. Someone asked, am I going to Pandora, the land of Avatar? Yes, actually, I'm going to head over there. We're gonna, it was always fun, actually, to check out what the wait time is for Flight of Passage, as well as the wait time for Navi River Journey. So we're going to do that. Brian said, how's the weather today? You know, for Florida in August, it's pretty nice. It's about 82, or at least it was when I started. Uh, it's a little humid, but not insanely. So the sun is not so intense today, which I always appreciate. It's a nice day. Sheila said, had fun with Kevin and Doug two weeks ago. Tony said, can't wait to go back. This is interesting. If you haven't seen it before, this blue awning says guest experience team. So this is a spot where if you have some questions or need some help, uh, there are folks here who have lots of Disney knowledge who can give you a hand. So if you're having a problem with a fast pass, if you have a question about getting a reservation, uh, or you just need an extra hand, the folks who work there are able to, to help out. So whenever you see those blue awnings and the cast members in the blue shirts, they are there to help you out. Jeff said the food and wine marketplace is by Canada this year. Um, I believe that is true. So right now, a lot of the Canada pavilion is under wraps, actually. <laughs> um, but the, uh, the festival center, or the former Wonders of Life, it is now under construction to become the Play Pavilion. Last time I was there, I saw construction fences up. So I think that Disney's going to be putting some extra spots in Canada this year. Denise said, just came back last Friday, and it was hot. We have definitely had some very hot weather here, that is for sure. Uh, so this is interesting. Maybe we will not get a... Oh, we'll get a better shot of it as we get closer. Um, the upcoming what is rumored to be Club 33, the ultra-exclusive club first started at Disneyland, now being replicated here at Walt Disney World. Something like, I don't know, $30,000, $40,000 to get in. Uh, I, I can't even imagine. But if anybody has a membership, please let me know. I'd love to, uh, love to join you and check it out. So Festival of the Lion King is just letting out right now, and I am swimming upstream. 
Josh from Texas. How's it going, Josh? Ready for upcoming Disney Cruise. Good for you. I am now a little bit hooked on the Disney Cruise Line. I've had a chance to go twice, and it is a relaxing, luxurious experience. Debbie's got two trips coming. That is awesome. Heather said you feel like a salmon. A little bit, yeah. We were just saying, oh, it doesn't look so crowded. Now all the people come out from Festival of Lion King, and it's crowded. That's all right. I think it was Michael said had a friend who jo who joined Club 33. I missed all that message, but wow! If any of you can hook me up with a Club 33 member, that would be awesome. Trisha said, "Going to be here two weeks from today. That is good." Tracy, two and a half weeks. Okay, so you can see a little bit the block building that's going up here. Yeah, rumored to be the Animal Kingdom Club 33 location. Actually, quite a few folks working on it this Saturday morning. They must be uh, trying to get that done ASAP. Generally, 100 days to go. Cindy, good morning to you. Alexandra said, heard the water show is just okay. So you were probably referring to Rivers of Light. Uh, Rivers of Light debuted, oh, I don't know, some time ago. Uh, first nighttime show here at Disney's Animal Kingdom. And uh, the original show, I would say, was very uh, abstract, you know, kind of in the way that Cirque du Soleil is abstract. It was recently reworked to put more Disney characters in it. Uh, I think the show, yeah, Disney might, um, might let that one ride out for a while. We'll see. I th it's definitely worth seeing. I think that visually it's beautiful. It's very colorful, um, but a little on the abstract side. Yeah, Kevin just asked, uh, have I seen Rivers of Light? I have. I saw it when it opened, and I think that may have been the only time I've seen it. I actually should go back and check it out now that they have reworked some of the show and added some characters into it. Brian's asking about the construction. Yep, that is rumored to be Club 33. Carla said, liked Rivers of Light, that is good. Okay, so this is a walkway. I think it's sort of tucked back in here. Not a lot of folks know about it, but it connects the Africa section near the Festival of the Lion King Theater to Pandora. It's actually a very tranquil area here. You can see uh, this river over to the side. Mike said, looking for Divine. I did not see Divine on the way in. It's often where you will see her. Uh, if you haven't seen Divine before, uh, it's a performance artist, a lady who is dressed up in vines who really blend into the background. Um, makes very fluid, slow movements. Very cool. Joy said, don't recognize this walkway. Yeah, it's uh, relatively new since the opening of Pandora, the Land of Avatar. Kelly says, likes this walkway? It's really, a, it's a pleasant walk. Jeremy, good morning to you. Laura says, what is Club 33? So... Club 33 is a, a club that started at Disneyland. Um, it is a very high ticket club out of Disneyland. I think there are actually many year waiting lists to get in. You know, the, the initiation fee is something like, who knows, $30,000, $40,000. Costs maybe ten, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 a year to maintain your membership. You get access to these ultra exclusive lounges and lots and lots of perks. Uh, all sorts of tickets, uh, VIP experiences. It's really for, for the Hollywood movers and shakers. Uh, so they're replicating that idea here at Walt Disney World. If I remember right, the uh, first year initiation fee was 30,000, and it costs maybe 15 each year to stay. Linda says, looks like a nice, quiet, leisurely walkway. Yes, it is. Samantha, two days to go. Good for you. Hope you have a great trip here. Sandra says, love the sound. Me too. The sound design here in Pandora, Land of Avatar, is just amazing. Um, and it actually does change during the day versus night. It's fun just to take a second to listen to all the animal sounds. Gail says, Club 33 is private. Yes, it is. Uh, members only. Carol Ann says, loves the lights and the details here. Me too. Cynthia, hello to you. 
Tiffany is coming in December. Good for you. Jana, good morning to you. Says, love the videos last night. Thank you very much for joining. Oh, excuse me. It was uh, a lot of fun bringing everyone the first night at Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. Uh, videos are posted to YouTube, a few live videos posted here on Facebook, more articles coming this week, as well as um, pictures of all the food I got to sample that is coming on August 29th to the Epcot Food and Wine Festival. Wendy says, family at 12 have three years to go before coming to Disney. 12 is a lot. That is a big crowd. Amy says, loves Animal Kingdom. All right, so over here is actually one of my favorite quick service restaurants, Satuli Canteen. And the food here is so good. If you haven't eaten here, I would recommend it. It's sort of like Disney edition of Chipotle, where you pick out a protein, or you pick out a base, things like noodles, uh, beans, potatoes, get some stuff added onto it. This blueberry cream cheese mousse, awesome, awesome, love it. Kim from Kentucky, hello to you. Hannah says, family is coming at Christmas time. That's great. I hope you have a good time. It's a fun time to be here. Carolyn says, going to be here in October and excited to see Galaxy's Edge. Me too. So I mentioned earlier on the broadcast, uh, I've got two times coming up here. I'm going to be at Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. So this coming Tuesday, 20th, pass order preview in the evening. Can't wait. And then again on Tuesday and Wednesday, the 27th and 28th is the official media preview right before the grand opening on August 29th. Very excited to bring all that to you. Debbie is a Thule fan. Me too. Helene said would eat there. It is really good. And Helena, Helena, so hope I'm saying your name right. Please uh, forgive me to all of you who, whose name I butcher. Heather says sounds good. Okay, so there's a little bit of a walkway, something or another going on here. Alright, so I don't really understand why we're being blocked here, but let's see what the wait time's like. Oh, I think I see what's going on. Uh, the line is backing out of the queue. So all of these folks here are lined up to check out quite a passage. And as you can see, it's a little bit hard on the video. Standby wait time, 225 minutes. Four hour wait time for quite a passage. Wow. Kristen said Disneyland at Christmas and then Disney World in May. Good for you. Helene, hopefully I got that right. All right, 225 minutes for Flight of Passage. That is a good long time. Zoe, hello to you in South Wales. Diana said, Pandora is gorgeous day and night. I agree, actually. They really have done an amazing job of making you feel like you were at a different time and place. All right, this uh, waterfall is always fun to see. Had some nice motion, sound. Donna said, that was a long line. Michelle said, four hours. Yeah, that's a long time to wait. Very long time to wait. Hey Dakota, how's it going? Debbie said, no wonder the rest of the park looks so so empty. Yeah, because everybody's standing in line for a flight of passage. Let's go over here and see what Navi River Journey looks like. Actually, I keep trying to get a fast pass for Saturday morning on Navi River Journey, because I'd love to do another live broadcast. This hasn't happened. And the standby wait time for Navi River Journey, 85 minutes. John said, show the waterfall. Oh uh, yeah, I can actually do that. Thank you, John. So you can check that waterfall out right here. Water pouring down from the floating mountains. Lori says, is Flight of Passage worth four hours? You know, that is a tough question. I will say that Flight of Passage is, in my opinion, one of the best attractions Disney has ever created. Uh, story, design, 
uh, theming of the queue. The whole thing is just extraordinary. They did a super job. Uh, that said, four hours, that's a long time. Uh, I have gone at the very end of the night without a fast pass, gotten in a standby line. Uh, you maybe wait uh, 45 minutes or an hour. So if it were me, I, I would definitely try to take the attraction in if it's any way possible. If you can get a fast pass, that is absolutely the way to go. If you can't get a fast pass, I'd say your next best option is arrive at Animal Kingdom probably a couple hours before the park is scheduled to open. And as soon as you can walk in, make a beeline by walking quickly, do not run, to Pandora to minimize your weight. I would say the other option would be wait until the very, very last thing in the nighttime, just before the park is going to close and get in line there. Kim said, uh, Flight of Passage is amazing. I think it was Carrie said uh, wait time was two hours, got back in line immediately. I think that's what that comment was. It really is. It's, it's an incredible attraction. Jim said, come back later. Carla said, four hours is like waiting half the day, yeah. Derek said, hopping on late, loves walking around Animal Kingdom. Derek, thank you for being here. Uh, for those of you who may be coming in the middle, you can always check out the full video. It gets reposted back to Facebook. And within a few hours, normally, it will get paste, posted over to YouTube. If you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel, head over to YouTube, do a search for World of Walt. Uh, I also have exclusive videos there, including some I took last night, interviews with Disney uh, management, Disney cast members regarding the merchandise, the food, for both the Food and Wine Festival as well as Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. Brian said, can we see a Flight of Passage video soon? Well, you know what? You're not actually permitted to hold a phone um, when you're on Flight of Passage for security or, or safety reasons, rather. Uh, and it's a 3D movie, so I don't really have a good way to be able to show you a video. If you check out YouTube, you might be able to see someone who finagled a way to do it, but it is an attraction that is hard to video. Um, probably impossible to video, actually. They just don't let you do that. I would imagine someone's probably done it, though. Debbie has a 10 a.m. fast pass in September. Good for you. You planned well. Dawn says, Pandora is beautiful at night. Yes, it is. Uh, I would say, if you haven't seen it before, I would recommend spending some time in Pandora, both at daytime and nighttime. If you have to pick just one, though, go there at the nighttime. It really is, it's beautiful. Kim says, love walking around Animal Kingdom. Thank you, me too. It's a fun park just to, to wander. Andrew's going to be here on the 30th. Hope you have a great trip. Derek said, Flight of Passage quickly became a favorite. Yep, they, they did a super job. I can kind of imagine that uh, the people who originally designed Soren said, wow, if I had uh, 15 more years of technology and a bigger budget, that's what we could have done. Both attractions are tremendous in their own right. The Flight of Passage takes it to a next level. Yvonne said, can she still get a t-shirt? You can. Uh, head over to worldofwaltstore.com and I'll link you up to the shop. Uh, there are some open edition t-shirts as well as one limited release t-shirt. Limited release t-shirt uh, says 1971. It was a very good year. That t-shirt's only going to be available in August before it goes back in the World of Walt vault. And I'm actually right now working on some September t-shirt designs. One, maybe two. We'll see. So stay tuned. Jean says, thanks for the information. Try to plan a trip in December. Good for you. I hope you have a good time. Debbie, uh, should you see the movie before going on Flight of Passage? Uh, you know, it's kind of up to you. I, I think there's a special... A special surprise when you get to see a Disney attraction for the first time without knowing what it's going to be all about and that's actually my preference but I also have to say I'm normally uh, checking out all the rumors online and all the information that comes out uh, in a way it's very informative and interesting but in another way it's it's a little bit of a uh, it takes away the surprise Kevin is back again everywhere I go there's Kevin this is the third time I bumped into Kevin We'll see what she is doing before we wrap up for today. Rod says, excited for the t-shirts. Thank you, Rod. 
Debbie has three shirts, favorites in 1971. Thank you for that. Now, let's see what kind of day Kevin's having. All right, Kevin is on her way. All right, everybody, thanks for joining me today as we just took a little stroll around Disney's Animal Kingdom to check out what's going on. I mean, there's a construction wall here. We're talking about construction in the Animal Kingdom. Uh, there's a little stage here for uh, a show with some of the parrots. Uh, that's under construction right now. So today we'll wrap it up with uh, this spot, beautiful spot in front of the tree of life, amazing carvings. So, thank you everyone for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the little stroll around Disney's Animal Kingdom. Really appreciate all the comments. It's fun chatting with you. Uh, thanks also for all of the, the likes and the shares, especially a great way to get the word out. So, hope you have a wonderful Saturday. Until next time, God bless.